Welcome. Today I'm here with the Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral Bill Moran, to talk about the Navy's big changes to the physical fitness assessment policy. Sir, thank you for joining me. Thanks, MC1. Good to be back with you. Uh, back with you finally to address PFA. Uh, we've been talking about this for two years, and we uh, think we finally got a uh, policy that's going to make some changes to the PFA program that s sailors are anxious to hear about, so I'm glad to be here. Well, sir, as sailors read this NAV admin, I think there's going to be a lot of questions about why. So what should sailors take away from this? What I hope sailors take away from this is that as opposed to a system that was uh, punitive in nature, i.e. you pass or you fail and you get so many failures and then we process you out, uh, we don't really talk about uh, better health. This program is designed to talk and incentivize about better health for sailors and not be a test on a pass-fail basis. We're still going to have standards. We're still going to have a, a way to measure better health and, a, and a, a continuing way to measure mission readiness through the PRT. But overall, it's about better health, overall health for our sailors. Now this NAV admin and the changes, it brings a number of specific changes to the BCA. What are the major differences now? Yeah, the, the major differences are we've adjusted our current BCA standards uh, uh, to have a little bit more latitude in, in age differential. We all know that as you age, things fall in different places, so we're accounting for that. We're also accounting for what we believe are different body types uh, that have uh, evolved over time as the Navy's become more a culture of weightlifting and other activity that does change the, the, the basic structure of bodies in, in the Navy. Uh, we've got more women in the Navy than we ever had before, so we've, we've done a lot of work uh, and discussion with women to make sure we understand that piece. Uh, and, and we also know that we, we don't allow a lot of sailors today to take the PRT to uh, be able to demonstrate their physical fitness uh, if they can't pass the BCA. So the adjustments are to allow more sailors to take the PRT so that we can see what kind of shape they're in and, um, and when they're not, help them get back in a better state of health. Now this NAV admin also mentions CO spot checks. What is the role of the commanding officer in this policy and in the Navy's culture of fitness? Yeah, so everything we've done in the past year and a half or so has been focused on putting more authority and empowerment back to the triad, including COs, of course. Uh, and, and the PRT program has really been uh, administered as a punitive measure of you know, pass or fail. And, and, it's, and it's not really thought of as, uh, how am I going to take care of shipmates in the fleet? How am I going to take care of my sailors? To, to incentivize them with better health. So the program will encourage uh, COs to use spot checks as a, as a means to address a sailor that looks like they may be getting on the, the wrong side of being healthy, uh, maybe overweight, maybe doesn't look right, not getting enough sleep, but being able to address it in, that, in those terms. So that's what the spot check's for. It's not a punitive measure. It should, er, it should never be taken that way. It's more of a way to say, hey, Shipmate, I, I'm worried about you. Let's go. Let's go do a test. If it shows that we need to get you uh, on a program to better health, then we're going to do that. Well, sir, if I cherry pick a few of the things that I think will jump out for sailors, one is that in 2016, the number of failures that you can have before separation starts were reduced from three and four years to two and three years. What can you tell sailors about the reason behind that change? Well, the reason behind it is we, we think that a lot of sailors get lost in the three- and four-year policy we have today in between tours because that's a long period of time. Uh, and with the, with the added measures to get more sailors to take the PRT, um, we're going to have a better indication of their health. And, and therefore, um, I see no need to have three failures as a, as a standard in the future but actually two, so that we can get sailors mission ready and keep them there longer and not have these periods of time where they, they go between tours and perhaps get lost. And, and as a result, their health, we're not paying close enough, enough attention to their health. I want them taking PRTs. I want them testing. I want them physically active. Uh, and that's, that's going to improve our overall health, overall health at the end of the day. Another change in this NAV admin is sailors going into 2016 with two or more failures are going to have that number reset back to one and even sailors being separated currently can have that process stopped and go into the 2016 with one failure. What can you tell us about that decision? Yeah, the decision is simply we want to be able to have a transition period so sailors fully understand what's happening with the change in the program. We're at the beginning of the fall cycle for 2015. We're going to run that out um, and give sailors that are either currently being uh, uh, process for admin set because of the three and four years, a chance to c 
correct that, and we will reset their failure back to one if they can pass the PFA under the new guidance by the end of December of this year. Uh, and, and that goes for any sailor that in the fall cycle um, that is starting right now, if they fail um, and, and subsequently pass, we'll, we'll reset any failures to one, and then everything starts fresh from there on January 1st of 2016. That gives everybody a grace period to get on board. Well, sir, where do you see the PFA and the Navy's physical fitness program going from here? What's the future of that and the Navy's culture of fitness? You know, well, I think the partnership with medical is really important here. We, we can't truly assess physical health unless we're doing the kind of measures uh, that account for diabetes, blood pressure, overweight, anything uh, that a standard medical practice would say, hey, we, we are concerned about your health. Uh, and that's, that's whether we have to do that in the future through a PFA program like we have today or a more constant attention and, um, and monitoring of people's health through uh, fitness devices which are proliferating out there. We think there's an opportunity to do some of that. Uh, I think that's the way of the future that someday we'll actually, uh, we'll actually get rid of the kind of PFAs we do today altogether and we'll be monitoring people's health uh, day to day, month to month, as, as opposed to every six months. Well, sir, thank you for coming on the show and talking to us about the Navy's changes to its physical fitness program. If you out there have any questions, and I know you will, you can read the NAV admin. It's out now, or send your questions to USMPeople at gmail.com.